Greetings and welcome to yet another beautiful episode of Flavorful Eats. We are going southern today with my guest Jason Williams. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Well, we've been making some lovely grits. I'm excited. What screams more southern than grits? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing, nothing more southern than grits. So today we are going to do a gluten-free vegan grit um, that kind of reaches out to everybody out there. Um, there's nothing worse than having something you can't eat. Yes, all the dietary restrictions. This follows everybody. It's well, nuts maybe not, but we can do all types. We are using a cashew milk and cheese today, um, but there are alternatives with olive and avocado. Yes, absolutely. that opens that up. Absolutely. So we are going to start by seasoning our water. Um, simple. We're going to use some butter, and we are using half a stick of butter. And we are just following the instructions for four on just about every pack of grits there are. A uh, cup of grits to four cups of water. Quarter cup of this. So we are going to use some sea salt. Uh, right. Pinch or two, it's all really dependent on your taste, but we do want to make sure the water is sinking. Nice and salted. Yeah. And now we're going to move on to the pepper. I like to use a either a smoked sea salt or a smoked pepper to kind of add a, a layer of, of, of flavor into the grits. Oh yeah, that's even yum for sure. Yes. Our water is ready, and in go the grits. So you see, this is quite a rough grits. It's not fine. So when I'm doing like a savory grit for like say like a dinner meal. I'll try to find a coarse ground grit for a breakfast, you know, just your standard to medium ground. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can use a coarse all the time. And that's kind of flavor and preference. Absolutely. You can see it's getting one boil. So now, like we do with rice, you just cover and let it cook. We are going to let that cook down just a second. And then we're going to add the milk. Something that I've gotten away from at the house, just Trying to be healthier? Well, it's, you know, the lactose intolerance thing it tends to yes, ruin a lot of deliciousness. Milk, right? Yes, the cashew milk tends to have the same flavor as the cheese yeah, and the butter, yes, so yes, yes. you're starting to get a, a... Okay, you're not layering the flavors that way. Correct. Okay. And it's not the cheapest stuff in the world oh, if yeah. we're cooking on a budget. No, absolutely not. It's already creamy. Now we are going to... Move this over and let it finish cooking down. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the kitchen only because you're going to be doing the next dish right now. Yes. And we're going to be leaving this to cook for about 20 minutes, correct? 15 yeah. to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. All right, uh, Jason, we've got our grits cooking. Yes. So now we are going to our next dish, which is hash brown. We are going to make a sweet potato hash. You can use any kind of sweet potato you want. Mm -hmm. Today we are using a standard and a Japanese. Mm -hmm. We've already done some right here. So now you're going to be doing another one. So we're going to start by cutting the end off simply to keep it from rolling around oh, like yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people like to peel. I cut and use my leftover strips to throw in the air fryer for treats for the dogs. Well, it could be human treats too. It's very healthy for you. That's very nutrients. We love the fiber. Fiber is good for us. Yes. And how long do you normally put that in the uh, air fryer? What uh, do you put moderate air fryer? It depends on how thick I cut them. Mm -hmm. um, so for this particular one, what would you have done? I would do a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Throw them in there. Let them go. Um, Dehydrator is going to take a little longer. Air fryer. 20 minutes. Um, I know not everyone's air fryer is the same. Yes. Um, but you put it like 350. Temperature of 350? Yes. Yes. For about 15 20 minutes, I should say. So 
while all of this is going on, Jason has actually made his pot hot. So yes. the pot is hot and ready. Now, one of the keys that we want to talk about on the sweet potato is you want to soak them in ice water for about 30 minutes to help pull the starch out. Mm -hmm. So what that's going to do is instead of becoming a mush in the pan, it's going to help them become crispy. So Jason is using some avocado oil, some smoked paprika. Yes. Some Creole seasoning. Creole seasoning. Creole seasoning, some pepper. And maybe and a tad bit of salt. And then you have um, chopped uh, garlic, mushroom, onions. Today we have a mushroom blend of portobello and shiitake. Mm -hmm. um, the great thing about this recipe is it's so versatile. You can throw in anything you've got and, and it's can. still going to be delicious. So we are going to add a dash of two tablespoons or well. now yeah. the fun part the splash do you need the lid yeah. i look dangerous <laughs> i'd say like four cups of um sweet potato in there roughly get it moved around in the pan get that oil evenly coated you see how well that browns up mm -hmm. Now, also, you know, keep an eye on the size of your pan to how much you're putting in. You don't want to overcrowd it. Overcrowd the pan, but but this is just a great, easy breakfast to start the day off. You've got plenty of fiber, plenty of protein. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got everything you need. Everything you need. This means a lot of love. A lot of moving, a lot of touching, watching. You don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm. Jason, how do you know it's, a, it's about ready for the next step of your it's, it's, it's like For me, it's like 75% done. I can tell. You smell it. I smell it, yeah. It's in the air. And when you're moving around, you'll start to notice the texture start to change. Yes, it's starting to get softer. We've got a good coat all the way around, so we are ready for our next step. Is it the garlic or is it the onions? We're going to throw the onions in. Okay. Alright, this is one whole... Really whole soft pepper. Uh, red, uh, onion? Onion. Oh, red onion? Red <laughs> onion. Oh man, that is going to just going to add so much better flavor. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all about. So this is flavor. a huge purple onion that you use. So it's yes, two we are going to use Only half, of, half of that bad okay. boy. So probably about one, one cup of flour. So one little a medium sized onion and uh um, chopped. And chopped. The great adaptability of this is if you don't like onion, mm -hmm. put onion in it. Right. There are so many different alternatives. We can put leeks in here, we oh, can yeah. put leeks be fennel. Fennel. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw in our garlic. Put like three cloves of garlic there. This is four cloves. Four cloves of garlic, okay. We're going with nice even numbers today, apparently. Mm -hmm. And now the smell starts to waken everybody up in the house. Absolutely. <laughs> now it's hitting the noses. So now we're going to start seasoning. We're going to start with our tablespoon of... Teaspoon. Teaspoon. Oh, we're at the teaspoon of smoked pepper. Without the smokiness in there. Mm -hmm. We are going to put the same of Cajun and seasoning. Half mm. a teaspoon Cajun seasoning, half a teaspoon smoked paprika, and, uh, and then we're going to the black pepper. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Not enough, <laughs> never enough. <laughs> And then the mushrooms are ready to go. You want to dump those in for us? The mushrooms, okay. Absolutely. Pleasure. Excellent. Just one more Waste not, warm not. Absolutely. Oh my word, and just like that, our meal is about ready. Just like that. The mushrooms are going to cook down. You can personalize this with a thousand different salsas to add that little extra. Mm -hmm. 
We are going to throw some green onion and cilantro on the top for the color oh. and the taste. Limitless, like your imagination is... All is needed and creative. All that's needed. A handful of vegetables, a pantry full of seasonings. Um, <laughs> really, what else do you need? And look at that. Just like that. Just like that. The magic is happening in the yeah. pan. Delicious goods. Now we're gonna season it a second time. Second time. With the salt, yes? Oh yeah, we need some salt. Oh, there's the salt right here. And this is a workout in and of itself. Yeah, you can see and that. I'm burning calories here getting ready for this breakfast. Uh-huh. Well, that smell of that uh, amazing. Smell of the peppercorn. Mm -hmm. Ready on that guy. And this one here, just mix it. Um, we're going to add our cheese. Okay, there we go. So we're using a about cashew four. cheese. This is about four ounces of cashew cheese. Cover it back up. Let it uh, melt down and show it okay. down. Okay, so are you ready for tasting? We are ready. There's nothing wrong with trying to make it look fancy. Absolutely nothing wrong. We eat with our eyes too. Oh, yes. Let's do it with your eyes first. Some green onions. Some beautiful green onions and some cilantro from the garden. Fresh from the garden, literally. Vegan cheese grits with sweet potato hash. Delicious. Delicious. You need full balanced meal right here. Deliciousness in a pan. Deliciousness in a pan, like you said. Thank you so much, Jason, for helping me put you this for together. Me. This is a beautiful breakfast. From the sun. From the sun. And uh, Jason Williams, thank you. I'm your host, Hamsha Maidi. Thank you for joining me always on Travel Foods. Till we meet again, take care. Bye bye.